What were weird myths you thought about six as a kid? In elementary a kid asked me if I knew what a condom was. I went ahead and described a nicotine patch. I had no clue what ejaculation was in fifth grade. So either the thing went in and stayed there for like, the whole night, seven hours or something. Then the baby appeared. Whoever tried harder would determine the gender of the baby. Edit. I've been on Reddit for I don't know how long but I never thought this comment would be the one to do it for me. Thanks y'all. Be safe. That you just put your dig inside a woman and then the sperm starts flowing continuously. Like pee. Oh and that you actually have to push the sperm out yourself. Like pee. You learn to do that when you get old enough. And that involuntary ejaculations during night happen only a few times until you learn to ejaculate yourself. I was not aware of the angina having an access to an inside before I hit puberty. So I thought six was, well, anal. And that birth was basically sitting a baby out. So anytime I was having a hard time with number two in the bathroom, I would try to motivate myself that I'm basically practicing the pain for childbirth and that it could be so much worse. That, since I have only one sibling, that meant my parents only did it two times. My sister thinks six is two people laying naked on top of each other and talking about marriage. You will go blind by masturbating. Thanks to my wife for helping me by typing this. Six lasts all night, like you go into bed and then it is happening until sunrise. I had two. One. My friend in elementary told me that your testicles were the actual seed. So you basically had to pass a walnut-sized object through your penis when you had six. And you only had two shots. I was terrified for a while. Two. I also legit thought the angina was in the front, like the penis. Until I was probably eight or so? When I was really really young, I thought a angina was shaped like a perfect cylindrical hole. This was before 6 ed of course. Definitely thought blowthrob was literal, like she blows into it like a kazoo. Was racked with guilt about masturbation and wet dreams because of all the babies. I had a friend who thought the same about peeing. Also 6 freaked me out because I thought she had like a tube or something in her angina that was supposed to go in my penis hole. When I started masturbating, I thought if I kept doing it, my testicles would shrink to nothing. I thought women just got pregnant at a certain age. Whenever I pictured two people having sex, I imagined the guy doing the worm on top of a woman. As a kid I thought kissing on the lips made babies, and apparently so did a lot of other people. The guy stuck it in there and just kinda stayed there until the baby was made. Didn't know about the whole thrusting thing. I thought you literally could not have sex before marriage. It couldn't happen. The angina would reject the penis like water and oil. I thought sperm were the size of tadpoles. I thought they shot out and filled up the condom like a water balloon and you would be able to see and hear them slithering and wriggling around. Needless to say I was scared of sexual maturity for a while. All pubic hair is dark, regardless of hair color, even though I myself am light haired. I heard about sheepskin or lambskin condoms when I was a kid and for some reason imagined a guy wrapping one of my rabbit pelts around his dig and trying to get that into a woman. Never occurred to me they'd just use the skin and not the whole hide. Fully thought if you had six in angina it would be a girl and up the bum would be a boy. I thought gay people had six by bumping their butts together. When I was 14 I thought anal six was when a guy just frocked your butt crack like literally just sliding his dig between the cheeks without ever entering any hole and I was so confused. When guys get hard ons, it was because it filled with sperm and if a guy couldn't get hard it meant he had no sperm. I didn't know angina existed. I never had the talk. Basically I thought that girls had nothing there and that to pee, a penis would come out of their butthole. I genuinely thought that until a friend showed me naked girls on the internet. I thought any TV show I saw that wasn't a cartoon, or at least the majority of them, were entirely six related movies or shows. Because any time I would ask my parents to watch them, they would say I wouldn't understand. And they also said that whenever I asked about six related things, so I grouped it all together that anything that my parents told me I'd understand when I'm older, was entirely about six. I thought titty frocking was pushing your dig into a nipple one at a time, back and forth. I thought that it was a painful experience and that it was actually not that simple to make a baby. I thought penises grew pubic hair on their tip. Like a lion's tail. I also thought all. Doggy style. Six was anal six. There was a joke in primary school that went along the lines of. Q. How many animals can you get into a girl's fanny? A. One cock. Two bulls. And as many hairs as you like. This confused me for some time. I thought. Oral six. Was literally. Oral. As in, talking dirty, I was so shocked to learn the truth. 
I always thought homosexual meant that you like to have six at home. I was trying to sound cool at summer camp when I was around 12 so I told everyone I was homosexual. All of the girls started hanging out with me and I thought all the guys were avoiding me because they were jealous. Realized my mistake later in the summer and never went back to that camp or talked to anyone there again. I used to think. To produce a baby you just need to hug naked and sleep cozily together. Edit. I would like to take an opportunity of this comment's relevance to ask you to help me find this. Masturbation will make you go blind. My 4 fifths grade teacher who was 80 years old. When I was a freshman in high school, an older male friend told me a man's penis could burst if he didn't empty out his sperm often enough and got too backed up. I heard the word, lesbian, for the first time at camp when I was 8, and when I asked what it meant I was told that it was, a girl who sleeps in a bed with other girls, I took that to heart and understood the word as a negative, so I was pretty uncomfortable with sharing beds at sleepovers for a while, also. When she was little, someone I went to high school with believed that a woman became pregnant when a married couple put forth a formal wish to God for a baby. After a long time of begging her parents to give her a new sibling, they gave her the good news, she didn't believe them, and made them wish out loud in front of her for a baby. Her mom had twins and she thought it was her fault for making them wish a second time. My parents were very open about six and taught me about it when I was four. Of course at four it doesn't all make sense, so I thought women only had one hole to do, everything. I also thought that boys had periods. When I was seven or so I got a cut in my ass. I needed a sit and accidentally cut my ass wound in the process. When I went to flush I saw the blood and told my dad that I was on my period. He was obviously confused. Edit. Thanks for the likes. Let's try get to 10k. This is the most popular post I've made by far. I thought that six was about getting naked in bed and rolling around in the sheets. I am gonna explain to those replying to me. When I was a kid, my mom handed a book from the government which explained a lot of things. It showed a man and a woman naked, but with their parts covered in pubic hair. A lot of pubic hair. I thought that was disgusting. But, one day, I would have to have six. So I thought, if when I sleep I wake up in a different position, if I got naked and slept with my partner, after rolling around in the bed I would eventually have six. This way, I wouldn't have to come close to that disgusting pubic hair. I thought eating a lot of food until you got fat got you pregnant. This was reinforced when people said they have a food baby. Edit. I used to go to chubby people and ask if I can hear their tummy. Edit too. Thank you for the upvotes sweet people. I thought I was dying during my first orgasm because the church tells you you're not supposed to touch yourself. I even started crying. But I didn't tell anyone lol. The angina has a button inside and it is pushed to release the baby making stuff. So anything inserted could be the daddy I guess. A woman should have an orgasm as well to become pregnant. But in hindsight, it wouldn't have been bad if it were true. Twins are a result of having sex with a pregnant woman. I used to think the tip of the penis just lined up with the cleat and it like suctioned I guess. IDK. I also freaked out and thought something was wrong when my labia started to appear and thought it was because I masturbated too much and I was scared to tell my mom. She most definitely would have explained it to me if I had asked. Then a few years later at my first pap smear I asked the doctor about it and she had to explain to me what it was. When I was a wee lad I thought that, bumming, was two men stood back to back, gently but playfully bouncing their naked buttocks off each other. Thought that babies were made by the kiss at the wedding. As in, you may kiss the bride, boom, pregnant. Also thought that you weren't allowed to kiss until marriage and this was why. Mini TIFU. When my brother had proposed to his wife to be, we had a little celebration at a local restaurant. They kissed during dinner, which prompted me to look at her knowingly and say, Good thing you're on those pills huh? Wouldn't want to get pregnant too early. I was 8. One of the darkest moments of my life. I thought eating a watermelon seed would get me pregnant. That y'all just lay there and go. Wow. No way. There's definitely some cleanup involved. When I was in 6th grade one thought busting a nut actually meant my nuts actually exploding. Before I actually experienced 6, I thought you'd have to put the condom on your shaft and balls. That the tiny little urethra stretched open during labor for the baby to come out, had no idea that women had angina. I was six and also a girl. That if you removed a rib you could suck your own dig because of rumors regarding Marilyn Manson in the 90s. I was seven I didn't have a clue what it meant, and had no internet to confirm otherwise. My friend told me when we were seven that having six was touching butts with a girl. Accidentally touched butts with a girl in the pool later and thought I had had six. Took me a few years to figure it out. I saw the episode of Seinfeld where George wanted to have makeup 6. I thought they meant makeup as in the beauty products you put on your face. 
When he was struggling to open the condom, I thought it was the pack of foundation he couldn't open. So 9 year old me thought that people smeared makeup all over each other during sex. If you sat on a toilet seat with any pee on it, you'd get pregnant. For the longest time I thought it was genuinely illegal. And that's why adults did it. My brother told me I got a girl pregnant BC I kissed her on one of those neighborhood green electrical boxes. I thought the condoms were like the black sensor bars on TV and wondered how a guy could frock with that on. A girl told me masturbation could give me cancer. My parents had six kids. All of us almost exactly two years apart. The logical 10 yo me deduced that my parents had six once, on their wedding night, and then the babies just started coming every two years. Getting told that the baby comes out of your butt as well as if someone put their finger in your belly button. Always thought how and why. Some friends told me that the penis works like a dog's penis, i.e. There is a smaller penis which is supposed to come out of the penis sack. I started crying thinking my parts are broken. The second was due to a R-rated movie I sneaked where they had their clothes on and were simulating doggy style. I thought at that time that somehow the butt was involved. Did not know about the female anatomy back then. Obsessed with butts ever since. I thought masturbation was playing with yourself. So I just sort of jumbled my junk around with my hands. Didn't really work. Then I read Cujo by Stephen King when I was 12 and my world changed. I thought it took hours upon hours. Turns out that only happens if he's on drugs. That I could get some when I'm older. I don't know if this is related, but my mom told me perverts wear people who stuck their slong up your butt until it blew up. I don't remember how it even came up, but when I was in sixth grade, we discovered that a friend of mine believed that being raped was actually being raped. She thought women were getting attacked by garden rakes. I used to think it was highly illegal and regulated by the government. And little 11 year old me thought every time I whipped out old faithful my sins would catch up to me and the FBI would kick in my door. That you just put it in and waited. I thought the thrusting was just people being kinky. You can pregnant from oral law. Used to think that you had to have anal to make baby. Also thought the mother pooped out the baby. This doesn't count as a myth but it's still absolutely hilarious. I genuinely thought that women had balls too. But as opposed to the shaft they have it inverted. This was what I thought from the age of 8 to 11 until I accidentally walked into a shower at the campsite we were at. To see it was in middle of being used by some teenage girl masturbating. I had no idea what 6 was. But I had a faint understanding of what a blowthrob was. So I thought that when the girl swallowed, it went into her stomach and made a baby in her stomach. Which are the food she ate like a parasite, only to be pooped out at 9 months. I saw how animals were born with the sacks around them, and my mom would make comments about not understanding how people had so many kids, like how it was possible. So my kid brain was like OOHH. Every time you have a kid your angina gets shorter and shorter because part of it is used to cover that baby. The sack. Think like when they put the netting over a Christmas tree. So I thought women could only have as many kids as they had. Angina to cover them. I also thought that gay men had to stretch their urethra to fit the other man's penis inside. The idea of anal six didn't even occur to me. Needless to say my mom did not even attempt six education with me and years later Google taught me all I needed to know. When I was a kid my brother told me that, one day I will want to put my penis in a girl's angina. Like I'd believe something as crazy as that law. I thought fussy was a delicatessen. I was at camp and the older boys were hanging out they found some chick that was giving it up. They kept talking about eating the fussy and how it smelled good and all. I had no idea what a fussy was. You won't get pregnant if you have six while menstruating. That you're supposed to blow during a blow job. After a bit I realized what it really meant but I used to think a lesbian was someone from Lebanon. This is going to get buried for multiple reasons, but being asexual. I thought it all was a myth, or at least greatly exaggerated. I didn't learn about ovulation until shamefully late. I had even been active for years honestly believing a woman can get pregnant any non-period day the same. My friend told me that it was quite common for couples after 6 to go to sleep with your dig still inside. I deck. Whenever one of the parties in movies goes to freshen up before activities, I always thought it was to brush their teeth for good breath. Nothing more. I used to think that anginas were perfectly circular holes in skin had no comprehension of a cleat or anything, just a perfect circle in the center of skin. 14 year old me was grossed out when I discovered that wasn't the case. Now that I think about it, if girls did have perfectly circular holes in the middle of regular skin, that would be far more disturbing. 
I'm sure this will get buried. But I thought that when a girl got eaten out it meant that you had to put food in her angina and literally eat it out of her. Mmm. Peanut butter angina. One particularly promiscuous girl in our middle school said over the summer she gave a handjob to a guy and he spermed on the floor, and that it was gross because the tail was wiggling. Two guys having six couldn't get pregnant, but two gals having six will get one of them pregnant at random. I heard boys in fourth grade in school say that six is when boy and girl are in bed and they vomit, pee and poop on themselves and in each other's mouth, until sixth grade when actually thought this was true, and before that I thought that babies hatch from honeycombs, and that six is when the parents come to pick up the baby. My brain even created three fake memories of when I was in honeycomb, I still have them, and until seventh grade one thought that condoms were vegetables used mostly in soups, don't know where any of these came from. I thought eating fussy meant you literally ate the pubic hair. Losing your virginity will make you feel powerful and loved by your peers. Looking back, I realized immaturity and six are a dangerous mix. When I was really little, I thought that semen was kinda sprayed in a cloud around the woman. Because that's the way my fish did it. I didn't get the whole but about the female laying the eggs first versus live birth. Lol. When I was in high school, my teachers told me that as you jerk off, the wasted semen is collected by a demon who then impregnates herself with it, and then gives birth to baby demons that give you bad luck, don't ask, religious people believe weird sit, and so did I. I was like 7 and was watching scary movie I thought 6 made you go crazy I was a stupid child. I thought, making love, meant kissing someone on the lips and was worried I might be pregnant after another kid kissed me on the lips when I was 4. I never knew the penis went in the angina, I thought 6 was done hot dog style, before I knew six existed, I thought that you had weddings as many times as you had children. For example, grandma and grandpa had three kids, therefore they must have had three weddings. I knew what six was, but I didn't know it was pleasurable. I just thought it was just a super secret thing which is why nobody discussed it and people giggled about when it was mentioned. Nothing major, but I thought it was called a magina for the longest time. That having six automatically meant you were at an extremely high risk of getting AIDS. Thanks 90s 6 ed. I had zero idea a penis actually goes inside of you. I literally thought it would just rub on the outside of me and then bam a baby would be made. Made for a very embarrassing moment when I was about to lose my V-card. When I was told. The man gives the lady a seed. I assume. The seeds. Came in packets and were just offered to women. I was a really dumb kid. I thought that. Dash. Fapping was a term for gay six, meaning two guys rubbing their digs together. A woman automatically gets pregnant exactly two years after she gets married. When I was 11 a friend told me that, porn, means a male putting his penis in a female's butt. In the shower, I pulled some balled up lint from my belly button, thought they were eggs, and cleaned them all out because I didn't want to get pregnant. I'm a dude. My first gold. Thanks friend. Not me but a young woman. 21. I was friends with. She kept having trouble with the guy she was dating because she really wanted to have six but he didn't. I don't know why. I said. You need to find someone who will frock the sit out of you. 100% sincerely she responded with. Will my poop actually fall out? Still laugh every time I think about it. She also believed wholeheartedly that her angina only had so many uses and would wear out eventually. And that her pee came out of her angina. I thought the word. Modem. Was sexual and felt dirty whenever I heard it. I thought oral was, when you frock someone in the ear. I thought only girls came. When I first found porn I would just skip through vids to see what it's about, never saw the ending where the guy would finish. Coincidentally, the only video that I actually watched the ending of, was a cream pie one, so I'd thought the guy would just go at it until he couldn't anymore and after he pulls out the girls cum would leak out. I remember being pretty shocked when I came myself. I was even further shocked when I found it girls don't come like that. Next time the six ed debate comes up. Just show the people this thread. That there is no such thing as oral six. A guy, who had watched porn for the first time, told us that the girl took the man's dig inside her mouth. He said that he was disgusted after watching it. None of us had watched any porn till then. We didn't believe that he had watched something like this and was making this up. We were also very disgusted. We were 10 to 12 then. I thought sperm was a cord-like thing that snaked out of the penis. Navigate to the fallopian tube, and touched the egg, then retreated back into the penis. This was also when I thought the penis just kinda stayed there in the angina. A science book a read said, the angina holds the penis during intercourse, 